Oh my Napoleon. That has a lot of Napoleon grills. Are we doing the Napoleon video today? Yeah. So the guys on YouTube have been asking for the mega Napoleon review. Is this the mega Napoleon review? How many Napoleons we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine models. Obviously there's more than nine models, but we're gonna break down the full line logic today. Everything from the base grade freestyle series all the way up to Big Haas Pro 825 and everything in between. Most importantly, I'm gonna break grills down for you and I'm gonna start eliminating grills out of the line logic so we can simplify the process for your research at home. You guys excited? Let's go. All right, first things first, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. Check out all these products for yourself. Get hands on with them. We're loaded with Napoleon grills for the season. We're gonna have plenty in stock for the year. And you're gonna get a lot of useful barbecue information. If you're a barbecue guy that loves barbecue reviews, you've come to the right channel, so make sure to subscribe. All right, so the reason we thought, we kind of did, Chris and I did a video a little bit ago and we were kind of breaking down the new Freestyle versus the Rogue versus the Prestige series, which was three grills. And we kind of put it out there, like, do you guys want to see a mega Napoleon review? And what was the answer, Chris? Yes. Yeah, they wanted the mega, mega Napoleon review. So we brought in as many as we could. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do is start organizing them a little bit. Cause what happened was they came out with like this special edition Phantom series, which are awesome grills. They came out with the Freestyle series, which is new. Um, so they've added some skews to the line logic. There's three different Rogue models. Then you have the Prestige and then the Prestige Pro. And it's like, ah, like what the heck do I want? What, do I, what am I shopping for? That's what this video is for. I'm not gonna go crazy in depth. If I went crazy in depth on every single grill here, ooh, mama, that would be what? two hour video. So what we're gonna do is I have in-depth reviews on each individual model. We'll include those links. If you wanna go back and check out that video, you're more than welcome to. So I'm gonna to try to put them in order here of pricing. What I'm gonna to try to do, you know what I'll do? Okay. So over here we have the Prestige family, which is our high end stuff. So this area right here is our prestige area is that clear am i clear yet where the prestiges are that's our high-end prestige then we have our three rogue models and our freestyle so let me get these in order here and i'm going to kind of explain what they are and what the differences are and then at the very end what i'm going to do is start eliminating some models that kind of feel like overlap each other that you could maybe take out of your research. Just my opinion. Okay, so there's four families really now with the Napoleon lineup. There used to be three, now there's four. So we have the Freestyle, which is strictly price point, pretty bare bones, uh, great quality grill, but affordable. Not much to it, I'll go over that in a second. Then we have the Rogue family, which to me is the most convoluted family. There's way too many SKUs going on in the Rogue family and that's the most confusing family of the bunch. But we'll tell you, we'll explain it. Then we have, so that's the second family. Then we have the Prestige series, which is right here. That's the third family, second from the highest end. And then back here, which we have hidden, which are the prettiest, we got the Pro series. So that's your Mac Daddy Pro series right there. We'll talk about that as well. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Now I'm here. See what I did there? Freestyle grill. Really, really simple breakdown. Pretty easy to understand. This model is the three burner. It comes one size bigger and a four burner. If you go back and watch my reviews, um, pretty bare bones. It doesn't have any options for side burners or rotisseries. Um, the sides are retractable. 10 year warranty, cast iron inside, um, and just a little cheaper build all around on the outside of the grill, but it's a great, great value. Uh, so if you're looking for something bare bones, good value, 10 year warranty, this is a really good guy to look at. Again, go back, watch the full video. So what do we get when we upgrade to the Rogue series? Well, you see it's a little bit bigger of a grill. This particular one is also a three burner. Now the Rogue family has three models. We have, well, really four. They have the base grade Rogue, the Rogue 
XT, and then the Rogue SE, and then also Rogue SE Phantom series, which is what this is. Whew. It's a lot of models. Let me tell you the difference. Base grade Rogue is really very, very similar, in my opinion, this is where you see some overlap, really very similar to the Freestyle. No side burners, no rotisseries, just basic side shelves, and you get it in three, four, and five. I don't know if this one comes as big as the six in the base grade, but it comes in a bunch of different sizes. No differences between the grills besides uh, sizes. Very, very similar hood system to the Freestyle. One thing the Rogue does give you compared to the Freestyle is the cart is much sturdier, more robust. You get the four casters instead of two like we're dealing with here. But again, sort of bare bones. Uh, I think from a standpoint of product confusion, this, if I was gonna eliminate a grill off the bat, this would be the very first one out of here. Boom. Get rid of the base grade Rogue. Why do I say that? Because if you're going base grade, boom, just get yourself the freestyle. Now, the freestyle is new. So I think that used to be their base grade model. Now it's the freestyle. So we'll see if this stick sticks around the base grade Rogue. Time will tell. All right, when you go to the Rogue XT, this is where you get a few upgrades. Now it's just like the Rogue, 15 year warranty. But one of our biggest differences are we have a side burner. Now to me, this is where the sweet spot is for the Rogue because you're still getting good value, good price point, but you get some upgraded features compared to the basic freestyle besides just size. Now the Rogue does come bigger than the freestyle, but man, these mega reviews are hard. I'm spitting out a lot of information. You guys following? You following me, Chris, or am I, am I confusing you? No, I get it. Okay. So the Rogue does come bigger to the Freestyle. So that is one advantage to the Rogue. But the Rogue XT, we get our side burner. Now, if you watch any of my Napoleon reviews, you know I love their infrared side burner. It's super useful, super functional. Uh, definitely good for searing and for basic side burner. Cooking adds a lot of versati versatility to your grill. So when you get the XT, you get the side burner, which is really cool. Still cast iron cooking grates, failed to mention on the Rogue is you can get them in black or stainless steel. Stainless steel does cost more money um, and all you're getting is a stainless exterior finish. You still have cast iron cooking grates on the inside. So for me, this is the sweet spot with the Rogue. When we go to the Rogue SE, this is a Rogue SE and this is the Phantom Edition. The Phantom Edition only comes in the 425, which is this size, uh, you can see here. Again, the Rogue SE doesn't make a ton of sense to me. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, when you go to the SE, we get backlit knobs, then we get stainless steel cooking grates, and uh, we also get a built-in rotisserie burner, but no rotisserie. So you get the burner, but no rotisserie, eh, I don't know. Then when you get the Phantom Edition, you get this special edition warming rack for your jalapeno poppers, your, your wings, your drumsticks, all the fun stuff that's going on. And then the other, other advantage to the Phantom series is the special matte black finish, which is pretty sweet. You can get the SE in the Phantom or the non-Phantom. When you do the non-Phantom, you get the same grill, but stainless steel and no special edition warming rack. It's just your plain old average Joe warming rack. Also on the Rogue SE, the infrared side burner is bigger. So it's bigger and then also this is stainless steel on the side too. Man, this video is like, I'm gonna need a beer or something, man. Like this is like, this is information overload. The guys are really testing my, my uh, barbecue knowledge right now to see if I can spit all this out in 20 minutes. How am I doing? Not very good, right? We're going overtime. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why, to me, this grill, why you would buy the SE. I'm about to get into, an, into a second. This is the Prestige 500 series. Um, these grills start to become very, very similar in features. Of course, the Prestige is better. Um, and they're also become very, very similar in price. So for the price, to me, it makes sense when we, to get into the Prestige, and I'll tell you why in a second. Here's the only reason I would get the SE over a Prestige, because you're gonna spend close to the same money. 
The Prestige only comes in the 500. This is a 425 and the side shelf is retractable. So the people that I've customers I've had that buy the SE, they get the SE because they have a compact space. So if you want the features of a Prestige, it's still not fully featured like the Prestige, but if you want the closest specs to the Prestige series, but you don't have the space, this is the grill you're gonna want. Probably the Rogue SE425. It's the closest you can get to the 500 and you're gonna save a little bit on space if you have a tight spot to put this in. We've had put, people put them in alcoves or they don't have a very big deck, something like that. This is a great solution for that. If you're not tight on space, to me, this is going back with the regular Rogue because too much overlap between the other grill models. So hopefully I'm simplifying this. So far, base grade, freestyle, mid-tier, the Rogue XT because we get a, an additional side burner, so we get some added value with the Rogue 15-year warranty. All right, prestige time. The Prestige 500 series. Prestige 500 series. Whew. You guys ready? Best selling grill in our entire store. Probably best selling skew out of everything we sell. Fireplaces, stoves, uh, Kamado Joe's, you name it. This grill right here is the number one skew at Embers, period. That's saying something. That's a big deal. Why? Packed with value, and it's an awesome machine, and it's affordable for what you get. So we're starting to get into more of the higher-end barbecues here. Uh, for a cart model, this one's really, really hard to beat. Let me tell you why. First off, we go from a 15-year warranty to a lifetime warranty. Then we go to a North American-made product now. So this is a product that's made and manufactured in Barry. Ontario in Canada, so that's cool. Also, the hood system is better. Now I say that because we have a two-tiered hood system, which I think creates more convection heat if you watch my videos. Uh, we have seven millimeter stainless steel cooking grates, backlit knobs that are gonna turn colors when they're ignited. Uh, we have the infrared side burner with the basic cast iron. And then also we have our rotisserie burner and then our rotisserie spit rod and motor, all standard for under 1500 bucks. I don't like talking pricing. You're gonna say, well, people always blast me. Like you didn't name the price. Literally, Chris, we did a video two weeks ago and I talked pricing, which I never do. I, talk, I said the price out loud in the video. Chris edited the video. Guess what happened before I posted the video? Manufacturer changed the price. So before the video was even published, the pricing was obsolete that I said in the video. Come on, man. So especially now with inflation, if I'm saying it in the video, it's not gonna be accurate. But for ballpark purposes, this grill's under 1,500 bucks for now, for now. You cannot beat this grill for $1,500. <clears throat> that sounded really salesy. Come on down today, get yourself a grill for $1,500. Primo. Okay, other features. This comes in a 665, so that means you can get it one size bigger, which is back here. I'll show you this in a second, but if you wanted an even bigger version, you can get it in the 665. And I don't know what they've been doing with this. This is a SKU we don't sell, uh, just because to me, again, if it was physically here, I'd move it off to the side, but they sell the Prestige stripped down without a side burner and without a rotisserie, but it's not that much cheaper. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's, that's going back there. So this is the one that we sell. This is the sweet spot with the rotisserie, with the side burner, pretty sweet. And again, you can get that in two sizes. Colors, stainless steel, enamel black. Uh, they, for a while, had paused the gray. I don't know if that's still the case, but they have like an enamel gray finish as well. So you can get that in different finishes. So that is the Prestige 500, sort of the sweet spot. Now, again, they had the special edition Phantom Series. Now, if you're looking at the Phantom Series, the special edition Phantom Series is the 500 grill. So these two grills are the same grill. Exactly, same build, same specs, same size, 
same same control knob, same everything. So what do you get with the upgraded Phantom series? Well, of course you're gonna get the enamel or not enamel, the matte, it's a lot of info, I'm confusing myself. The matte finish, but most importantly, and the selling point of this grill, I think, is the cast stainless cooking grates. I mean, oh, look at these, how sweet are these? Get a close up of these, Chris. These are absolutely awesome. And then, check out the side burner. We ran the side burner for a while. When you burn that side burner, it kind of turns like a cool, like rose gold. That's what you're paying for. And of course you get the special edition warming rack as well, but that's really what you get when you upgrade to the Phantom series. It only comes in the one size. So if you're looking at a Phantom edition, again, digressing a little bit, you have the Rogue 425 in the Phantom and the Prestige 500 in the Phantom. Those are the only two offerings in the Phantom besides like their Travel Girl series. Um, so that's the Phantom series. Now the Phantom 500 is absolutely one of my favorite grills that they sell. And this is a sad one to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the line logic. And again, the only reason I'm doing that is even though it's an awesome machine, it's the same grill as that minus a couple upgrades. So for the sake of product confusion, if I'm just trying to simplify the process for you, I'm gonna go ahead and move this grill out of the way. All right, so that gets us to the Mac Daddy Pro Series. So the Pro Series is a much more simplified process. So the way the Pro Series works is, again, we're a Canadian made product here, three sizes, 500, 665, 825. Pretty easy to kind of pitch these. 500 and the 665, are absolutely identical grills minus the size of the grill, with one exception. The 665 has an integrated smoker tray with a smoker tray burner underneath it. That is the only thing added you get with the 665 minus the size. Now you're saying, what features do I get when I upgrade to the Pro Series? Well, the Pro Series, you're gonna get thicker cooking grates on the inside we're getting a more robust cabinet. Let me show you on the 665, it's a little easier to show you. More robust cabinet series. Oh, we got some bottle caps in here. What have you guys been drinking, huh? Is this your resident bottle opener in the showroom? Oh yeah. Brings me to another feature, bottle opener. Pretty sweet. Uh, soft closed storage drawers, the cabinet underneath lights up too. And then one of the really cool features is the lighting in these grills. So we get interior lighting on the Pro Series. These uh, control knobs are multicolor, so I could set them to different colors, and then I can also set them to auto-rotate like they're doing now. And then check this out on the floor. There's a really cool motion light to this thing too, so it'll drop a little light on your patio. That's just more for bragging and stuff, but here's one thing that is kind of cool, is it's motion-centered. So if it's been off for a while, if you approach the grill and you got a couple platters going, boom, this thing will fire up. Um, also, we get a little bit taller lid and they chrome this bad boy out so the sides are, are chromed. And then we get all the chrome handles that wrap around for wrapping towels and stuff. That's actually pretty handy. Um, whew, man. It's a lot of info for me. So the 500 and 665 are identical, minus that feature. 825, this is a whole different beast. Like I said, the reason that people are like, man, why would I get this grill? The 825 to me is a replacement for an outdoor kitchen. If you want a modular outdoor kitchen with different stations, this is a grill for you and you're gonna spend a fraction of the cost of doing an outdoor kitchen, which is pretty cool. So they sort of break away from the infrared side burner and we get a power burner. That's a two stage burner in here. So you can boil, you know, do all kinds of stuff. This thing's gonna be super, super powerful. Hence the name power burner, right? <laughs> okay, then we still have the same cooking grates. We get our basic workstation, which is about the size of a, of a 500, a little bit smaller. And then we have a separate infrared searing station with two infrared burners. Plus we get a warming burner in the middle. I think that's kind of handy because let's say you're doing your burgers and stuff and some are cooking faster than others, which doesn't happen on a Napoleon because it's got even cooking throughout the grill. But in case you put them on at different stages, blah, blah, blah. As you're done, you can go set your burgers in here and keep them just nice and toasty in the warming station, which is nice. And then also we have our spit rod as well. All rotisserie is gonna come standard with this grill, of course. Oh, another feature I forgot to mention, all the Pro Series have this. 
We have the cutting board and the ice chest. Uh, ice chest to me is a little gimmicky. I don't know too many people are putting their Coors lights right there or their banquets right there, but cutting board's helpful. That's definitely something I would use. Oh, did I mention that the rotisserie motor is more heavy duty? So we get a stainless steel wrapped rotisserie mo motor, commercial grade motor versus the plastic motor on the Prestige 500. I think that's about it, guys. I think that's a wrap. Okay. Now, here's how I'm gonna, I think I got it narrowed down to how I want it. Here's how I'm gonna break it down. Base grade, quality, premium, and ultra premium. Simple. You can create varieties within these sort of four tiers. If you wanted a bigger, you want this, but a bigger version, you can do it. You want this, but a smaller version, you can do it. That applies to everything I'm saying. All these grills, you can get bigger or smaller. So hopefully that simplifies the process. Again, you can't go wrong with any of the Napoleon grills, but that is the mega, mega Napoleon barbecue grill. One thing I forgot to mention, I think it should go without saying, but we'll probably get a comment on the channel. Of course, we're not taking into account the outdoor kitchen model. So we have the 700 series, the built-in Pro 665, the built-in, 500 and all their accessories. None of that is taken into account. This is the mega review for the freestanding cart series by Napoleon. Whew. There you have it. We'll see you next time.